Hey, it's Chad from Albany Brewcrafters. We have a little how-to video for you today. Uh, Scott and I just drank some delicious Heady Topper here. And if you know anything about this beer, it's actually can conditioned. There's yeast in the in the well, not in the bottom of the can. Um, so we decided to salvage the yeast. We've already made a yeast starter, as you can see over there. Just we boiled two thirds cups dry malt extract in like three cups of water for like five minutes or so. So what we're going to do is show you how to salvage yeast. It's the same process you can use off if you want to salvage yeast from a Trappist, uh, you know, 750 milliliter type bottle, what have you. Um, so I'll let Scott do the rest of the talking since okay. he, you've done this before, I assume. <laughs> um, I know the recommendations. I've never really done it myself. Uh, typically with bottles like this, if you leave the last inch of liquid, mm -hmm. um, as long as it's been sitting still, uh, About if you haven't shaken it up. Two fingers worth. Yeah, two fingers worth. Um, you don't want to shake it up, so when you go to pour it, just make sure you pour it all straight out. You can look for the liquid to be clear the whole time. As long as it's not getting cloudy, it means you've left all the yeast at the bottom. Mm -hmm. um, so right now we've got two cans with, um, I think this one's probably got a finger, this one's got two, of yeast in the bottom. You just want to sort of shake them up. A little bit to make sure that the yeast is in suspension and then you want to make sure that you sanitize the mouths of the of the can which is right that used, spray bottle we've used star sand here there's a couple different methods you can use um i've heard people use lighters to just sort of not burn but heat the area uh around the mouth of the can you can use star sand um i mean realistically star sand it's a safe enough thing you could even yeah put it it's in been the sitting can. on there for like five ten minutes by right now. um so that's pretty much it. So you want to make sure you swirl it up, and then we're going to pour it into the Erlenmeyer flask. Okay. Pretty easy stuff. We did sanitize the uh, foam stopper there. Now can you see that it's definitely cloudy? A little bit, yep. Yeah, like I said, it was, we boiled a uh, Two thirds cup dry malt extract and three cups of water for about mm, a little less than ten minutes, I think. Yep. And now uh, we'll just uh, I'm back on. bring it up to right. And we'll slowly just just bring it up to a vortex. And then how many? How long do you think we need to keep it on there? Do we need to do a step starter? Do we need to do a heavier? No. There we go. I think with this one, oh, I think with this one, it, it probably within the next 24 hours we'll see some activity. Mm -hmm. And then I'd say give it another 12 to 18, and then then put it in a mason jar and save it in the cooler, right. the freezer, or not the not the freezer, sorry, the refrigerator <laughs> for whatever beer you're gonna make with it. Cool. And then uh, we'll we'll do another video where we actually harvest this yeast and use it to brew something with. So uh, I guess that about does it. Thanks for uh, helping out, Scott. No problem. Bye, All guys. right. See you later. Bye.